What's up guys? Got another update for you. I want to apologize for the lack of uh, videos this last week. Just been a little bit busy in real life. Uh, not going back into the dark ages or anything like that. I know that whenever I'm absent for a while, you know, people get concerned. But just wanted to, you know, communicate that to you guys. Everything is cool beans. And uh, hopefully you should have some videos soon. You know, actual videos too, like Bank Busters, Hardcore Man, etc, etc. But anyways, let's get into the update. Pretty decent one. Uh, it is kind of big because it ended up being two weeks worth of updates. Um, as far as dark stuff in the theater of blood changes, he did a lot of stuff, especially today. We, we got a lot of last minute changes. I believe multi-parties should work now. Please, 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 more testing. Um... Let's, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I'll talk about is the skilling week being active. So I'm trying to do these weekly boosts where there's always something going on. Last week, actually the last two weeks because of the delays, uh, we had Zora boosted. Uh, we plan to do different bosses, not always Zora, not always these skills, etc. Um, but for this week, we have agility and fishing being the two skills. Uh, double marks of grace, double experience. So, uh, for fishing, double experience. And then you also get two fish per catch. So... Uh, yeah, nice little bonuses for those skills. Uh, there's also a donator uh, event going on, which I probably should have put something in the, the login message. If you log in on a brand new account, it'll... Sh it'll uh, I don't want to log in on dead Debtor Chow. <laughs> I don't want to give any spoilers. I'll go on JMO. Yeah, so there's a, there, there's a, a, a daily bonus login reward thingy event this month. Uh, it's in the... It's in the... <laughs> all the... the update posts or whatever but uh i'll just go over it so if you are a donator and you log in through uh through today till the 28th uh, till the end of the month you will receive 250 extra points if you're a ruby donator you will receive 500 extra points if you're a diamond donator you will receive 1000 extra adventure points if you're a dragonstone donator you will receive one donator point every day for logging in so you get 28 you know points every day if you log in the rest of this month Onyx donators get two points. Zenite donators get three points. So some pretty nice login bonuses. If you have multiple accounts, just all you have to do is log in once a day. If you see this message, thanks for playing Revival, then you know you hit it. I don't know where Camtasia is. Where are you at? Okay, so now that the <laughs> that stuff is done, let's talk about the bug, vins, bug uh, fixes. So that same system I was just talking about with the adventure points uh, that you receive when logging in, that original system was glitched and was giving more points or possibly less points than intended. Um, the system was supposed to be additive. So, for example, if you had, uh, if you were, if you had, I think five dollars donated, you would get ten points, or is it maybe twenty-five points? And then, if you had ten dollars, you would get fifty points. But you would really get twenty-five points plus the other twenty-five points. That's at least how I thought the system was working. Um, but it was a little more complicated than that, and it ended up multiplying the points by three, and it wasn't additive. So, for uh, to, to explain it. Basically, at the lower levels, you were getting more points, and at the higher levels, you were getting less points than expected. So, uh, it's kind of it should be a nerf for some people, should be a buff for some people. It's it should be accurate. That's the main point. And what I mean by accurate is if you go to the Discord and go to is it, I believe store info, you see right here players now receive a bunch of points logging in every day. Zero equals ten points. Five equals twenty-five points. Et this is the accurate number. So, if I was a thousand-dollar donator and I just logged in today and there wasn't any bonus going on, without the bonuses, I would get a thousand points. Um, you also you still get those points, by the way. The bonuses don't remove those points. It's you know it's it's additional. So that uh, was really confusing, but hopefully you got what I was trying to explain there. <laughs> Fixed various issues with the theater blood. Like I said, that was uh, Dark's been working on that, so I don't know uh, all the issues. I know the main one was the um, the uh, what's it called the multiple parties not being able to work at the same time, and then there was a black screen issue that would cause you to not be able to do anything when you entered. I believe both of those are fixed. The training zone is now multi again. Uh, I don't really know how or why it got accidentally removed, but it is multi again, so you can barrage. But people like to barrage these bears. It's a nice little spot. The Dagonoth King lair is now working again. Shoutouts to Dark. That was more complicated than it should have been. <laughs> I still don't even know what was wrong or how he fixed it, but uh, DK lair fixed. It was one, It's one of those things with new data. New data messed everything up. But, uh, yeah, Dagonoth Kings are now accessible again for, you know... If you're a donator, you probably just go to the Dagonoth Princes, but... Um, you know, there's... Adamant and Rune Dragons have had their stats a little lower. They're just really hard to kill. No one's ever gonna want to kill them. I mean, even with these changes now, I doubt that anyone's gonna want to kill them, but... They're a little more doable. 
I uh, changed the weights for hard tasks. Do I have a task right now? Let's just get one. Hellhounds, yeah, yeah. So the, the logic of the, the change was to make it so dragons were less common. So you should just get more normal tasks like you would expect Hellhounds, uh, Fire Giants, Black Demons, all of the Slayer monsters, uh, like, uh, Bissel, you know, Bissel Demons, Terror Saber Demons. Uh, you know, uh, blood valves, jellies, uh, aber inspectors, etc., etc. Like those, those tasks should be more common. Um, I felt like when I was doing Slayer on my hardcore man, I felt like every task was iron dragons, steel dragons, adamant dragons, rune dragons, <laughs> flop dragons. Like it was just dragons, 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 dragons. Hopefully that's better. Kodak now takes longer to respawn. I felt like Kodak was taking uh, it just it spawned too quickly and was losing that sort of. Um, I don't know the sort of mystique that it's supposed to have as a um, you know a slow spawning boss. I felt like whenever I tried to do something, like uh, Basilisk Knights was my recent example, I was constantly leaving to go do Kodak again. Like, I felt like I spent more time killing Kodak than I did anything else because, I don't know, I just AFK, I click a Basilisk Knight, I AFK, I click a Basilisk Knight, and then Kodak's up again, and it just, like, I only got, like, two or three kills per Kodak. Um, and, again, the, I didn't really want to... I felt like the loot was pretty good, too, especially with the recent change where it drops... Um, has the potential to drop two group loot chests, has the potential to drop Mr. Boxes... Uh, or multiple mystery boxes, uh, and then obviously it still drops the claws, so I, I just felt like instead of changing any of those potential drop rates, I would just change the respawn timer, because I felt like that was the best change. Ancient Warrior's equipment now uh, works the same outside of Wilderness as it did before. You might have noticed uh, with some, you know, with, well, actually with all the PvP items, they have better stats in the Wilderness. I don't know if that's exactly how Old School is supposed to be coded with them, but on here, it just it just made sense to have them work everywhere. So Vesta Spear should now be best in slot at Corporal Beast. That was uh, something we've debated before. And then I also lowered the amount of charges they have. Because they have just a ton of charges. In fact, I'm not even sure if they use charges outside of the wilderness. That might be something we have to look at. But it is now 30,000. Um, I don't want it to be like, you know, that you'll lose them or anything. But also, it has to be... Uh, you know, it, there just has to be a downside to that armor, otherwise everyone will just use that everywhere. Um, and especially now that the stats are going to be better. Alright, so now we get on to the other changes. We have Rise here, even though he's not here because I'm a dumbass on the wrong client. All you gotta do is restart your client and he's the correct client. I'm pretty sure talking to him before would have worked, but he sells you uh, Rise's janky invention for 100 mil. So, I'll, uh, I'll show this off a little bit, but I don't want to show it off too much because I figure I'll just kind of let you guys... <laughs> I'll let you guys mess with it and figure out what it does or what you can get from it, but... Do we have the ability to make it or do I need some components? Nice. Mass glue, not bad. I'll just do a couple and if I happen to get any rare items, then... We'll talk about them. Mr. Box, Dragon Mad... Yeah, we didn't get very lucky. Oh, shit, I got it! <laughs> Not only did I get it, Sibo just got one too. Nice. That is, yeah, that's that's what you're supposed to get. I didn't ex actually expect to get one. That's why I was. It's not crazy rare or anything. I just, I, like I said, I didn't expect to get one. So there's no, no spoilers. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's the best I can get. I might as well show you the stats. I wasn't going to, but since I fucking got it, <laughs> boom. Those are the stats. I believe it's better than a Juggernaut, but the Juggernaut's speed could potentially still push it ahead. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to do some testing. Which is placebo. That's probably the first one. I mean, that's the first one legit in game. Mine's Mine ain't legit. Um, a good luck on uh, more. I wonder how many he can uh, do. It's supposed to be like a, a nice uh, component sink. Cool. Anyways, so this is added. Jank, rank, rank, rises Janky Invention. You can also get Sosuke Spear. I'll just, uh, I'll just tell you that now. Now that there's no spoilers. <laughs> Uh, Slisky Spear is also a potential reward from the, the janky invention. Dragonstone Donators, which is $500, uh, $500 or more, can now use TP. Coin coin TP from anywhere in the game, and it uh, accesses the teleport interface. So, yeah, this is super nice, super convenient, uh, pretty nice little powered. If you are a donator, you can now kill some green dragons in the donator zone. Uh, I don't know who asked for this update, some random nerd. As for this update, I'm guessing it's probably some hardcore or something like that that didn't want to go to the water doesn't die. So now there's just a couple of random ass green dragons chilling over here. I definitely didn't code this for myself. That would be irresponsible. Speaking of the adamant and rune dragons, you can now make the dragon kite shield and the dragon plate body. Uh, so to do that, come over to Walter. 
And you can now, uh, you can purchase this Dragon Metal Shard. I believe it's 25 new. And then when you have that, clone clone TP, uh, if you have the ability to do so, and you're not dumb. And actually, don't go to the Ancient Cavern. And then when you are here, just walk. I'll show you on the map. I just didn't, you know, let me God mode. God mode. All right. If you come over here to this little staircase, and then you come over here. So you need all the items. Let me see if I can remember how to spawn. <sighs> oh. Uh, I believe that's one. Uh, fuck, what is it? 3540? That's not it. F5 Dragon Shame. Is it one? It's got to be one. Three, one. 3140. I was going to do 3150. Alright, there we go. So yeah, use uh, the, the lump on the thing. Make sure you want to make this dragon plate body. Oh, I hit no, because of course I did. Boom, yeah, you can now make the dragon plate body and the dragon kite shield. Those are now all things you can make in game. Kite shield is a uh, slice, the shard thingy from the store we bought, and then a square shield. And then finally, the last change is you can now gain extra experience when training in the wilderness. So if you are above level 5 wilderness, you have to be above level 5 wilderness, you'll now get a bonus experience. I believe it's 50% uh, extra. So let's say you, you would get normally 1,000 experience, you would get 1,500. Uh, nice little bonus, extra incentive to get in the wilderness. There's this little thingy right here that says how many people are in the wilderness. Currently zero people have taken advantage of that, but... Uh, I don't really ever, ever, ever want PKing. I, 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 it's not that I don't want it. It's just it's one of those things where we've never had it on any of my servers ever in, in like, in like the ten plus years I've done servers. I, I, and and like it just it's just really hard. A lot of people who play these kinds of servers don't want to PK. Anybody who wants to PK is probably just going to go to a specific PK server that lets you instantly get all the gear, or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I don't. Um, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't hate the idea of people killing each other. The wilderness, uh, you know, it's, it's whatever. It's it's fine if we can give more incentive to, for people to go there. Actual decent incentive. Then uh, yeah, cool beans. So now if there's any wilderness heart, wilderness only accounts, uh, you get you get bonus experience. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see.